This May, after the spring semester ended, the women's field hockey team had the opportunity to travel to Portugal. We spent our time in two different cities, Lisbon and Porto. We got off the plane and went to our first community service event where we went to a school. We got to play with a bunch of their elementary school students, did a bunch of relay races, all fun games. We got to teach them a little bit of field hockey too. It was a really memorable and awesome moment to connect, teach them field hockey, a sport that we all love. It's something that I and my team will remember forever and I know for a fact that those kids will remember that moment forever as well. The best thing too is they didn't speak any English and we didn't speak any Portuguese and we all made these odd little friendships with these little kids. The trip started off on such a high note that I just knew from then on it was going to be the most amazing experience. It felt like a big family vacation, being with my best friends, it felt like sisters. Traveling with 30 people, it's like pretty big undertaking. It was like a giant 30 person family. Shannon, our coaching staff, our parents pretty much, and then it's like traveling with your sisters. Their attitudes, their energy level, just their gratefulness to be part of this experience was so awesome to watch. It's a genuine, it's, they're just an amazing group. Surfing was definitely one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in my life. The instructors we had were awesome. Really cool experience to be with your teammates and your best friends surfing in Portugal. It's something I never thought I would be doing. I have been swimming since I could walk. So being in the ocean, especially laughing at my teammates as we're all trying to figure it out. Because we're all, we're all athletes, we're athletic, we can definitely play field hockey, but surfing was something else. And seeing everyone kind of figuring out, it was lots of fun. We were able to laugh at ourselves and enjoy our time. And it was just, it was a beautiful day. The following three days, we were in Porto and they're known for a bunch of the bridges that they had. So we took a Rebeo boat, which gave us a tour of all the bridges. And we ended up passing under one of the bridges that we got an opportunity to climb. That was amazing. You get a full aerial view of the city. And beyond a field hockey trip, like we got to climb a bridge, see all these beautiful sights, like fully get to take in both of the cities that we were able to travel to. All of us fully immersed ourselves in the Portuguese culture, whether we were at the beach or in Lisbon or in Porto, we were able to really experience the full essence of the Portuguese people and how you know they, they live. What was really cool about the second community service, which was in Porto, the kids got to teach us rugby. It was really awesome to see them teach us because it was clearly a sport that they loved and they wanted to share it with us. Everyone wants to have fun, and it's like you put a sport in front of them. You don't need to communicate, it's just playing. It crosses cultures. There is no question that sport really breaks down all the barriers. You don't need to speak the same language. What you need to do is just love sport. It was unbelievable how quickly we spoke the same language. We played the top two clubs in Portugal. Beautiful to play them. We exchanged some gifts after the game and just getting to chat with a couple of the players. All of the women that we met and the girls that we played against were awesome. They were so excited to meet us after the game. I think it was really awesome that we were able to fit in three games in one week. Not only is that a little hectic, but it helps prepare us for the coming season, playing two games a week every week. I thought some leaders were able to be developed during this time. The extra training, the leadership development, and the time together to build that team camaraderie was ideal. I wouldn't have been able to personally travel to Portugal in my five years of college, but field hockey gave that. And that value of seeing more people, seeing more cultures through college and through sport, I couldn't have done it on my own. When you're a Division I athlete, your time is really taken up by your sport. So I think it's important for us to be able to provide this opportunity to our team because it's once in a lifetime. Cultural experience, traveling with your teammates is something that I just think will inspire them to see the world. Providing that experience is super important to me because it truly is once in a lifetime. I cannot thank our group enough. 
I think we have the best alumni in the world. We have so much support from them. Our donors are incredible. Thank you for the experience of a lifetime. Your donations, your contributions directly impacted the 30 people that were allowed to be on that trip. I definitely want to be involved as an alum and hope that I can make this happen for future generations. I'm eternally grateful for this program. It makes me want everyone after me to have the same exact experience, if not better. It makes me want to come back and support the games and give as an alumni. I see this list and I just can't be more grateful for the people that see what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish within our program. For all of these people from various places of our life at UMass Lowell to give to us to get us there is mind-blowing. I just couldn't be more grateful. It is an experience that we will be grateful for forever.